This meal prep episode is a little bit different to how we usually do it. This isn't a full recipe as such, but these are going to be brownies that you can take in or out of the house whenever you need them. They taste absolutely incredible, and they're a healthier alternative to regular brownies, but don't let that fool you. These are so, so good. All right, starting out, we're going to gently melt our chocolate. Place a small saucepan filled about quarter full with water over a high heat. We're then going to bring this to just a light simmer. Lower the heat to low, and then place a bowl over the top. This is going to create a bain-marie or a double boiler. Don't let the bowl touch the water though, otherwise everything will burn. Then we're going to add in 60 grams of coconut oil, along with 180 grams of dark chocolate chips. With this now, we just want to mix it around gently just until the oil and the chocolate melts together and becomes a nice glossy finish. And I will leave in the description all of the information about why I'm using each of these individual ingredients because they do have a lot of nutritional benefits, so it might help you out a lot if you're interested in that type of stuff. Once the chocolate's melted, this can then be removed and just set it aside for the time being. For this next part, we're going to add in three whole eggs to a stand mixer. Some people only use the egg whites if you want to make it a little bit healthier, but the yolks do act as an emulsifier, keeping moisture in the products and tenderizing the crumb. Along with that, add in 110 grams of monk fruit sweetener. This is a one-to-one -one substitute for regular sugar, but this has powerful antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties. This can then be attached to a stand mixer along with the whisk attachment. If you don't have a stand mixer, don't worry, you can do this with a regular whisk. It will just take a little bit of extra work, but it is a good way to get in a little workout. With whichever way you do do it, just beat this for about five minutes until the sugar is broken down and it's nice and light and fluffy. And the egg yolks will prevent the whites from fluffing up, so it won't gain too much volume. This can then be removed from the stand mixer or get rid of the whisk, whatever you're using. And then to this, we're going to add in 100 grams of almond flour. Like I said, I'll leave all of the details about this in the description, along with 40 grams of cacao powder, just to get that nice little rich chocolate flavor in there. Along with that, we are also going to add in that chocolate and coconut oil mix just to get it all in there. And make sure we scrape the bowl because this part is important and adds fantastic flavor to the overall product. Last to go in is a pinch of sea salt. This is completely optional, but this is what makes your mouth salivate with every single bite. And then just give this all a good mix with a spatula just until there's no lumps and everything is evenly combined. It is also optional to add in another 100 grams of chocolate chips here just to get that nice little melted flavor through it once it started baking in the oven. But with that all done, just transfer it over to a lined baking tray. I'll leave the size measurements in the comments as well as in the description. And then spread this out evenly with a spatula just until everything is the same size. Otherwise, it will just overcook in certain areas and we don't want that. Again, for another optional thing to do is just add some more chocolate chips over the top. These will melt into it once it starts baking, along with the chocolate chips inside it if you decided to add that. And then we're also going to add over a little pinch of sea salt flakes as well, getting our mouth salivating. Let's then place this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for about 16 minutes. Then just place in a skewer just to make sure it comes out still a little bit wet, but then remove it and then place this over a wire rack and allow it to cool down for about 20 to 30 minutes. It will make it a lot easier to work with. Once it is cool, you can get it out whichever way you want to, but I like to place a wire rack over the top, flip it upside down, then place the bottom of the baking tray that we baked it in on top again, flip it upside down, and then just slide this off gently, and it will make sure nothing breaks. But depending on how you line your baking tray, you should just be able to pull the baking paper out and get it out in one whole piece that way. Now, portioning is completely up to you. Depends on how many pieces you want. Eat the whole thing for all I care, but I'm going to slice it into thirds, then slice that in half, slice each half into half again, and half again, and you get 12 whole pieces, leaving us with these beautiful brownies that are obviously still warm, so I have to be careful. But that chocolate is gooey in the center, that shell is nice and crisp, and these look absolutely fantastic. And like always, these are the macros per slice, and like I said, this is just divided by 12. Just like portioning, storage is completely optional as well. There is multiple ways you can do this. Wrap them up in Ziploc bags, do whatever you want. And one did break here, but nothing in life's perfect, so I can't do anything about it. Place on a lid and then place these in the fridge for up to one week or you can freeze them for up to six months. The choice is completely up to you and they defrost really well. But the last thing left to do is we can then dig in. The flavor and texture on that is perfect. There is literally not a single thing I can fault about this. And I know it's a healthier alternative to regular brownies, but I have to say, I think these might just be better because they're so soft and there's that nice little sweetness as well. Obviously we did add salt as well. Every single bite makes your mouth salivate. But other than that, please do try this recipe. It's absolutely incredible. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really does help me out and consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.